Hey guys, welcome to another QA tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to find greatest common divisor, that is GCD of two numbers. We'll learn what is GCD first, then we'll learn what is the normal method to find GCD of two numbers, and then we'll learn a shortcut method to find the GCD of two numbers. So, first thing, consider two natural numbers, n1 and n2. If the numbers n1 and n2 are exactly divisible by same number x, then x is a common divisor of n1 and n2. The highest of all the common divisors of n1 and n2 is called as GCD or the HCF. They are the same terms guys. Basically it means the same GCD is greatest common divisor or highest common factor. Both are the same thing. Rules for finding the GCD of two numbers n1 and n2. First rule is find the standard form of the numbers n1 and n2. If you don't know what standard form is, we will learn about it. Second rule is write all the prime factors that are common to the standard form of the number n1 and n2. Third rule is raise each of the common prime factors listed above the lesser with the power in which it appears in the standard forms of number n1 and n2. And the last rule is the product of the result of the previous step will be the GCD of n1 and n2. Okay, let's take a look at an example and then you'll understand all these rules very properly. All right. Step 1. First thing, the problem is find GCD of 150, 210 and 375. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll do the step 1. First, write down the standard form of all these numbers. So, standard form is like this. You find out standard form in this way. Okay, so 210, how you find out standard form? You just find the factors of it. So, you divide 210 by 5, you get 42. You divide 42 by 2, you get 21. You divide 21 by 3, you get 7. You divide 7 by 7, you get 1. So standard form of 210 is 5 into 2 into 3 into 7. That is just multiply them. Okay. Next thing is similarly, we find out standard form of 150. 150 divided by 5, we get 30. 30 divided by 5, we get 6. 6 divided by 3, we get 2. 2 divided by 2, we get 1. So standard form of 150 is 5 into 5 into 3 into 2. All right. And 375 also, we get 5 into 5 into 5 into 3. All right. Step 2. Writing prime factors common to all the three numbers is 5 raised to 1 into 3 raised to 1. What are the prime numbers that are common over here? See, all of them have 5, right? And, uh, okay, only 2 of them have 5 raised to 2 common. Because 210 doesn't have uh, 5, 5 raised to 2, right? So, so 5 raised to 1 is what is common, right? And 3 also. Over here we have 3, 3, 3, yes. 2 is not common, yes. 7 is also not common in all 3. So the common numbers are 5 raised to 1 into 3 raised to 1. Step 3, the HCF is just multiply. 5 into 3 is equal to 15. So HCF of these 3 numbers is 15. Okay. Alright. Now suppose we have to find the HCF of 39, 78 and 195. The HCF of these numbers would necessarily have to be a factor of divisor of the difference between any pair of numbers from above 3. That is, HCF has to be a factor of 78 minus 39, that is equal to 39, yes. Or 195 minus 39, that is 156. Or 195 minus 78, alright. So it has to be a factor of all these 3, 39, 156 and 117, okay. For little calculation and faster outcome, take two numbers that are very close, okay, that are the closest. In our case, the two numbers we, which we will take is 39 and 78 because the difference between them is 39, right? Whereas the difference between 195 and 39 is 156, 195 and 78 is 117. Those two differences are bigger compared to 39. So, we will take 78 and 39. Now, only the factors of the difference, 39, can be factor of both numbers in our case of all three numbers, okay? So, factors of 39, what are the factors of 39? You just find out. 39 divided by 3, we get 13. 13 divided by 13, we get 1. So, factors are 1, 3, 13 and 39. Since we want to find HCF. Now, what is HCF? HCF means highest common factor. Remember the term highest. Okay. So, we start from the highest number that is 39. One of the factors is 39. So, you start from 39 because it is the highest. Now, 39 divides 39, yes. 39 divides 78, yes. And 39 also divides 195. You can check it out. It divides 195 also. Hence, the HCF is 39. Okay. 
Now we'll try another example, guys. Find HCF of 440, 140, and 390. Okay. Let's write down the standard forms of all these three numbers. See, 440. What do we get? 440 divided by 2, 220. 220 divided by 2, we get 110. 110 divided by 2, we get 55. 55 divided by 5, we get 11. 11 divided by 11, we get 1. So standard form of 440 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 11. Similarly, we find out the standard form of 140 and 390. We get 2 into 2 into 5 into 7. And 390, we get 2 into 5 into 3 into 13. Step 2 will do. We'll write down the uh, we'll write down the prime factors for all three, okay? So we get two uh, two raised to one into five raised to one as the common prime factors that are there, because yes, two raised to one is common in all three numbers. Yes, five raised to one is also common in all three numbers. Yes, so that's what we get in uh, common in all three numbers. Now we just multiply two into five, we get ten. And 10 is the highest common factor all right as you can see you can confirm it also 10 can divide 440 yes 10 can divide 140 yes 10 can divide 390 yes so 10 is the highest common factor there is no other number higher than 10 that can divide properly the all these three numbers all right now shortcut for finding HCF we have already seen okay that is uh, we'll try another example with now shortcut method okay Find HCF of 108, 288 and 360. Find the difference between 360 and 288. That's right. Because difference between 360 and 288 will be the shortest one. Correct. That is 72. Okay. Now find the factors of 72. You divide 72 by 2, you get 36. You divide 36 by 2, you get 18. 18 divided by 2, you get 9. 9 divided by 3, you get 3. 3 divided by 3, you get 1. So factors are 2, 3, 4. 6, 9, 18, 36, and 72. Alright. These are the factors of 72. Now, since HCF means highest common factor, we'll start from 72. That is the highest number in all these factors. Now, 72 does not divide 108, right? So it cannot be highest common factor because you just see the term common. Okay, it cannot divide 108, so it cannot be the highest common factor. So we go to the next highest number that is 36 okay now 36 divides all three numbers you can check it out 36 will divide 108 yes 36 will divide 288 yes 36 into 10 you get 360 yes so 36 divides all uh, three numbers that's therefore 36 is the hcf or gcd of 108 288 and 360 now another example find the gcd of 68 and 119 okay we'll use the shortcut method again find the difference between 119 and 68 difference is what 51 yes now find factors of 51 51 divided by 3 you get 17 17 divided by 17 you get 1 because 17 is a prime number so what are the factors 1 3 17 and 51 okay now we want to find hcf highest common factor you start with the highest number okay so 51 51 does not divide 68 of course so 51 is out of question next number highest number next highest number is 17 yes now 17 will divide 68 yes 17 will also divide 119 yes therefore 17 is the gcd all right so that's it for today guys this is how we find gcd we i taught you two method to find gcd that is greatest common divisor or highest common factor i have also taught you a shortcut method we have seen a lot of examples if you have any doubts any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below guys please make sure that you subscribe to my channel please share my video and if you want me to make videos on any other topic please feel free to ask them in the comment section below thank you